I just discovered the powerful healing of all natural ingredients in this box. Let's make this silky massage stab together so that your muscles are not sore any longer. Hi, I'm Shyla. I'm a certified aromatherapist and I love teaching people how to use essential oils in their home. So turn off those distractions because making is healing. So let's get started with this video. Before I tell you what you'll need, we at Simply Earth are obsessed with teaching people how to create with their essential oils. And that is why if you get this month's gift giving box, you'll have all you'll need to make the recipes. Or you can find what you need at simplyearth.com. Here's what you'll need to make your recipe. You're gonna grab your November recipe box as well as your bonus box. Find the recipe that you're gonna make. So this calls for spearmint and lemon for the essential oils. From your big bonus box, you are gonna grab your beeswax, your almond oil, and your solid coconut oil. And from your home, a two ounce jar. You can also get a two ounce jar in Simply Earth's website. Let's get started. We're gonna melt our solid coconut oil, our almond oil, and our beeswax all together. You can do this in either a double boiler or in a microwave. So first we're gonna get our coconut oil. So you'll need two tablespoons of coconut oil. Three and a half tablespoons of almond oil. And then one fourth teaspoon of beeswax. All right, I'm gonna pop this in the microwave and I'll be right back when it's melted down. All right, now that all of my oils are melted down, we're gonna put our essential oils into our bowl. We're gonna stir it to make sure they're evenly incorporated and then we'll go to our next step. So this calls for 30 drops of spearmint. Spearmint is a really great essential oil if you have sore muscles, it's good for inflammation, it smells amazing, it also can clear out your nostrils if you're feeling a little stuffy. The next essential oil we're gonna add into this blend is lemon. Lemon is super antimicrobial and again, really good for inflammation, so it's a good one for a massage blend. All right, now that we have our essential oils in our mixture, we are going to stir it very well to make sure that the essential oils and all of the carrier oils are evenly distributed. All right, the last step, you are going to pour your mixture into your jar. I'm gonna try to use a funnel because I did not use a bowl that has one of the spouts on it, so we'll see how this goes. All right, that seemed to work out pretty well. I'm going to move this aside and let it cool down a little bit before I put the lid on, and then I'll label it as soon as it's a little bit cooled down. Now that this has cooled down a little bit, don't forget to label it. You can either put your label on the side of the jar or the top. I like to put it on the top, but whatever you prefer is great. Voila! Now make sure you put your date on it so you know when you made this lovely creation. Let's test it out. Once this is cooled down, don't forget to grab your massage stone. You can find this in your recipe box. You'll wanna heat the massage stone in some warm water. Once this is heated up, you can scoop out some of your salve and then you can massage it onto sore muscles. The essential oils in this massage salve, again, are super great for helping with inflammation, so they're really good for sore muscles. You're gonna love it. You can make this too. I love seeing all of your wonderful creations on social media, so go ahead and tag from Simply Earth with the hashtag I made this so that we can see all of your lovely creations. If you wanna learn how to turn natural products into a salve just like this, go ahead and get your Simply Earth recipe box today because this box will actually teach you how to unlock the power of all natural ingredients.